What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Custom 3D YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my most recent 3D printer purchase, the Prusa Mark III S Plus. Now I was able to buy this on Black Friday and I got a free spool of Prusa Mint PETG which has been great. It's the Galaxy Black color. Very, very nice stuff. And I was able to get the PEI steel sheet along with the textured sheets as well. So I guess the main point of this video is going to be whether or not you should skip the lower end Creality offerings or just buy the Prusa Mark III, which is almost, eh, it's more than twice as much as an Ender three. So stick around guys, it's gonna be a great video. So here I am back at the Custom 3D headquarters. Now I'm just gonna be showing you the slicer, the printer, and what my plans are for the printer in the future. Now I also just purchased a multi-material upgrade, which I'm very excited for. And I think everybody that buys a Mark III should eventually buy this multi-material upgrade. And that's before I've even gotten it. So I think that opinion is just gonna be amplified after I receive it in the next coming weeks. Now, I've had this Prusa Mark III for about a week, and I bought the kit. Now, the kit took me approximately, I don't know, 10 to 15 hours to fully complete. Now, I must say, if you're just getting into 3D printing, buying the kit is not an optimal decision. The kit is very, very tough to get to put together for somebody like me who has been working with 3D printers for the better part of five years. I've worked with Ultimakers, Lulzbots, Creality Machines, MakerBots. I've worked with Mono Prices. I've worked with uh, even industrial-sized uh, 3D printers by Stratasys. So, and this is pretty difficult to put together. Uh, the, the biggest thing is, is everything's really small, so I guess that's probably the toughest part. But the directions that the uh, printer comes with are just phenomenal and very easy to follow and obviously there's a lot of support online to do it so I was able to put it together. Now along with everything being really small uh, actually that probably wasn't the hardest part. The hardest part was most likely the wiring. I know that's kind of wishy-washy but the wiring and the wire management was very difficult so those two things combined you know everything small and the wire management for me at least was the toughest part uh, for other people it might be something different but for me that's what it is and now I'm showing you a time lapse of a benchy being printed now this is not the first print I've done I've done several prints before this but this is done at a 20% infill 0.3 millimeter layer heights and that'll just go to show you how great this printer really is because it makes this look easy. Uh, the overhangs are perfect. Uh, and, you, you know, in this Galaxy Black PETG, it, uh, it just looks beautiful. The best Benchy I've seen from a 3D printer, period. Now we're moving on to this Prusa Slicer. I've used Cura ever since I started 3D printing. And I find the Prusa Slicer just as easy to use. Uh, I don't necessarily get better prints with it, uh, but I don't get worse prints. Uh, I actually find the interface on Cura easier to navigate. The menus are just a little bit more clear, but using a Prusa Slicer for a Prusa printer, you know, is the best thing to do and staying in that ecosystem that they have. So I really do like the Prusa Slicer, uh, especially for multi-materials. I haven't used multi-materials for uh, Cura, but I, like I said before, I bought the multi-material upgrade, but I've worked with a Prusa that has it and that interface is very easy to use. Now let's look at the spec sheets for these two printers. The Ender 3, like I said, comes in at around $200, just the regular one, which is the one that is shown in these videos. Uh, you have to manually level the bed. You basically cannot print in any other filaments other than PETG and PLA. ABS is really not reliable on this printer for me, at least. I haven't done a lot of uh, hot end assembly upgrades, but I'm sure if you did, you could get ABS successful out of here. Um, you know, the build quality is not nearly as good. The reliability is not nearly as good as a Prusa. But again, you're getting it at a lower price point. So sometimes you have to make those, uh, you have to make 
those sacrifices. To add on, the Ender 3 also has a 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter build area, which is actually very comparable to the Prusa Mark III. Now, as you saw on that time lapse of the castle, the Ender 3 is very capable of producing some awesome prints. Now, these do come few and far between compared to the Prusa, where it's almost every time you get a very, very nice print. So that's why I'm leaning towards the Prusa at this particular and also before we get to the conclusion i'd like to say that i've been using my ender threes to print some lithophanes and they have been coming out amazing every time so i guess in terms of that sort of reliability they're very good and i'd say even as good as a prusa mark three once you get your bed leveled a great example of this is this darth vader and luke skywalker one which came out amazing so conclusion time what printer do I think you should buy? So this is sort of a mixed bag. It's not really a straight answer, but I think that if you're just getting into 3D printing, buy an Ender 3. Because if you break it, you don't feel as bad. So if you're just getting into 3, 3D printing, buy an Ender 3. They're very easy to assemble and they're great printers to learn on. Now, if you have been working with 3D printers and have the capital and opportunity to buy a Prusa, buy it. If you don't need to learn anymore on a machine just buy the prusa it's simply a better machine but you have to pay more money for it so that's where that comes into play so both very good machines both are not bad choices the ender 3 is the best 3d printer under you know that 300 dollars price point if you buy any other printer i think that you're making a mistake buy an ender 3 and you can even get the CR10 minis, which is, uh, I have three of those great printers as well. I'll be coming out with a video uh, comparing the CR10 mini and the Ender 3 very shortly. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Make sure to check out all my social media pages, which will be linked in the description below. Make sure to check out my website, custom3dllc.com, and I will see you guys later.